Divine Me. It is the Queen A+, Plus, also known as the Queen of Thorns. I am here in Palm Desert, California. It is July 20... 2023 and um, uh, we're here at uh, Target at the um, um, Starbucks Coffee Cafe and we're working on the amendment we're working on um, um, just other things other content uh, for for the case and for you guys uh, and your awareness now this video is titled accountability and I want to talk about that a little bit I was inspired sitting next to YMK YMK is inside by the way um, uh, working he's working inside Starbucks just past those doors down there okay he's safe and fine and and, and we're doing okay um, accountability now before this case happened our knowledge of who these people are, what's going on in town, what's going on in the county, what's going on with big law, what's going on with any, any knowledge. It, 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 it didn't exist. We're entertainers, we're healers, we're here to do Coachella, we're here to, you know, to heal people, I'm here to teach and, uh, and just share our, our abilities, right, with, with, with society community that's why we moved from West Hills I sold my horse and uh, and we came here to do that after we were targeted and robbed of our inheritance by human traffickers and by a multitude of agents it's like a network of, of people that completely falsified everything falsified the entire me relinquishing my ownership rights and signing a I never signed a document that's forgery it's perjury and you know to, 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 to secure what belongs to me and YMK or YMK and I all these lies were told to throw us into this stage circumstance this stage destitution you know um, so that Satanists, right, can get off on our pain because that's the agenda. It's, it's always spiritual. It's very spiritual. It has nothing to do with vanity, even though they took our material wealth, our material, our material things and comforts, a bed, a vehicle, uh, uh, with, with one judgment, they swiped it all. Then got a restraining order and swiped it all. Like you know, it was just constant attack after attack after attack, and we're thinking, what did we do to deserve this? Anyway, after we're out here in destitution on the street, you know, the hunting 24-7, it hasn't stopped yet. It's still going on today, actually. It's just nonstop as if these people are like, you, you, you're going to bow down to us, right? You're going to give us your soul. So the, the, the higher ups who are doing this, and like I mentioned in another video, big law and the government and the military and, you know, um, People who should be protecting us and helping us are abetting these 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 criminals. They're all criminals, if you ask me. Uh, anybody in on this, in on uh, trafficking YMK and I for sacrifice? It's, it's it's human trafficking, but there's different kinds. We feel personally, our for for our circumstances, extraordinary and dangerous circumstances is. It's, it's, uh, it's for a sacrifice, okay? Or for where, any other thing they want. They want to just experiment on us like lab rats. You guys just want to experiment on us uh, as, as your lab rats. And, you know, you envy my energy and jealousy. And, I mean, no, you, 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 you envy my energy, energy and you're jealous. You're jealous of me. You're jealous of my knowledge, my intellect. And things just kind of got out of hand. So you guys took everything, lied. You know, me and YMK are being punished and suffering right now for something we didn't do, for a transaction we had no clue about and didn't know anything about, falsified uh, evidence and documents we knew nothing about, 
a, a complaint that we never received. We received a court date and like two pages. Like it was improper service. Everything's just messed up. So of course they want to just silence. You guys want to silence the whole, just silence us completely because everything's corrupt and it shows. The video is titled accountability because you need to take accountability for your actions because had your actions not been so hateful, so hateful, just so evil, we wouldn't be on the street in the stage destitution. We wouldn't see what's going on. So not only do you take all of our things and throw us on the street and then monitor our reaction, to monitor our strength and, and watch the, the breakdown of our integrity and our dignity. For fun, for entertainment. Your Netflix, okay? For the uh, sadistic coven members in the back who didn't hear that. You know, just sadistic entertainment. You know, and surveillance us and how we crumble under your pressures and witchcraft and spell work. We would not know anything. Who's who, what's what. In fact, when we filed the first lawsuit, we just, we, we studied at the Indio Law Library, filed the lawsuit, and we're still kind of clueless to what was really going on. And over time, and through studying our circumstances, we realize who's who. How, what's what and how, how, how's how, like, how is it? How, why is it, uh, you know, how did this manifest? And, 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 and now that I'm speaking the truth, mostly through text, but more so through video now, because it needs to be, I need, I need to get on here. Okay. My energy, I've been saving it. I've been focused on the case, the first amendment, and then it has to be serviced. And so we're in that process right now because the case is already in, but it needs to be amended, okay, um, uh, uh, for legal reasons. You know, there's serious material changes, and I have to put those, I make those changes into the pleading uh, for the case to be uh, settled properly or, or, or um, to litigate properly and liberally, okay? So because our enemies or predators won't take accountability for their actions, you know, they're forcing us to, and, and, and they're trying to pressure us. You guys are pressuring us to accept a false narrative already on top of attempted murder, poisoning us, having us poisoned, following us, surveillancing, listening to our plans, sabotaging, using military tactics, sleep deprivation. It's like you didn't want to just make it normal. You didn't, you, you guys wanted blood. You wanted us dead for, because we're kind, because we're talented, because we're able, because we're independent thinkers, because we have beautiful lives and destinies and, we're, and we have beautiful hearts. So you guys wanted to torture us and torment us uh, as entertainment. And things are just spiraling out of control. The lie has gone, way, this is everything, it's, this is, the lie has gone so far. We got gangsters in town. We got, you guys got sick gangs on us. And they're like, you're going to bow down. <laughs> what are you talking about? We're, I'm a mother. This is my son. We're in a property, a criminal breach, okay, is going on here. And we're in a property dispute. But it's now become trafficking for sacrifice. It's now become um, gang activity. It's now become this turf war, it's now become, where's that coming from? Exactly. So we understand circumstances and we can only speak the truth. Now, it's not in our DNA to have any Stockholm syndrome of any sort or to actually protect our attackers. It's not in our DNA to protect you. You guys were supposed to protect us and you guys were also supposed to um, uh, uh, adhere to uh, the contracts that were in place, not go change them, not go lie to try to make me look ignorant and, or illiterate or disrespect me during the judicial process to try to say, oh, she's a self-litigant, she doesn't know what she's doing. Meanwhile, you guys did not follow, I mean, everything you did was unethical. 
unethical, without a doubt. Just, just evil, evil, malicious, and just evil. This is evil. This is evil. There's just only, there's that, that's the only way to put this because it doesn't make any sense. And then instead of trying to fix the problem, you guys are paying big money for people, drug addicts, people on the street, gangs to come after us, to silence us, instead of you guys just fixing the matter. Giving us what we deserve. First and foremost is consideration and respect because we legally have rights and property to protect. Why wouldn't we? Why would we neglect that for you and how you feel? So basically our existence is to comfort you and your illusions? No. That's the wrong answer. That's not why we exist. To be your footstool, to be your mules, to be used like avatars, to be remotely controlled, to be uh, enslaved, to be trafficked. That is not why me and my son exist. Okay, we're educators, we're scientists, mathematicians, we're generous, we're loving, we're able, we're independent, we're good. And because you didn't take accountability for your actions and you still not, everything is just go getting out of control and it's just gonna get worse and worse and worse. This is desperate attempt to humiliate me to humiliate YMK, to starve us, to sleep deprive us, and torment us because we have attributes you don't, or we have abilities you don't. It's just not, it's not, that's not, that's not a sufficient excuse, or it, it, it's, it's, it's unjustifiable what you guys did. It, there's no reason for it, okay? So we're not gonna take the blame for you. Talk about insult to injury. We're not taking the blame for you. We're holding you 100% accountable for your actions. I don't care how much money you have and who you hire. It's still an illusion and it's still not the truth. A plus is a must. It's not the truth. We're about the truth. So you guys wanna get away with a false narrative and then you want me to shut my mouth about the truth. I can't do that because that's already a breach of my contract. I'm under contract to be an honest human being. YMK is under contract, spiritual contract, to be honest human beings, okay? Having a human experience. This is animalistic. This is barbaric. This is deceptive. This is evil. This is irresponsible. This is immature. This is just, just madness here, okay? So, accountability. We take accountability for our actions of telling the truth, as we should. Of course. And because you don't want to take accountability for your actions, things are spiraling out of control, and it is your fault. Things could have been smooth. Things could have been done properly, professionally, but no, everybody abandoned their professional titles. All the sacrifice to Queen of Thorns, the Queen A Plus from Detroit. All the sacrifice, young Master King, the firstborn son of the Queen of Thorns, the Queen A Plus. I mean, so much so, forgetting about your own selves. And now everybody's afraid, and I feel it. It's in the wind the truth coming out or being exposed or your livelihood or your your stability or your, what about us? We're, we have food insecurity because of you guys. We sleep on concrete because of you guys. Sleep deprivation because of you guys. Constantly being stalked on and accounts being hacked because of you guys. But no one, but now, but, but you guys wanna worry about your livelihood as if you deserve the best experience on earth after all the spells and curses you put on innocent people, like my son and myself. No, no, that's not this movie, and that's not the way this is gonna go, okay? Everybody's gonna be held accountable for their acts, 
and YMK and I are going to continue to get our justice. We don't deserve to be out here. We don't deserve to, to be consumed by these evil acts and this at attempted destiny swap sacrifice where you guys are all pretending it's me and my son who's done something wrong and caused our circumstances to be as such. When you guys know in the shadows, you're there heavily watching, heavily manipulating, heavily orchestrating all of this. Absolutely, I'm calling you all out straight, straight to you, not to your minions. You can delegate with your minions or who you hire. I'm talking directly to the top of the so-called pyramid, you, okay? And your lack of accountability, liability. You wanted to do this to us and have us pay for the lie and have us pay to hide who we truly are so you can wear your mask and continue to deceive others. <laughs> I'm a good mother. And you guys know it. Okay, and your jealousies is not my bill to pay, as I've written many times in my post. Your jealousies and your insecurities is not my bill to pay. I don't exist to be an emotional dump site for you or for you to project what you don't like within yourself onto me and onto my children. I don't exist for that. I hold I am responsible. I hold myself accountable for my actions and my thoughts. And meanwhile, you guys are strangers trying to say my actions were this and my thoughts were that. And then falsify evidence and rig situations and try to frame us and try. It's too crazy. It's too crazy. It's too immature. It's too lazy. It's too sloppy. It's too, it's too, it's not good. It's not good. So let's all be responsible and let's all hold ourselves accountable for our knowledge and our acts within the circumstance. You want to be evil, you celebrate being evil, well, continue to celebrate it. Be who and what you are, but don't expect me to hide my star for you. Don't expect me and my son and my children to die for your sins or your ignorance or your insecurity. We claim our life, and trust me, we're more obsessed with our lives than you are. We're more obsessed with our lives, and we're going to continue to show you that we are because it's unfair. You want to sacrifice us for political reasons, and we're not having it. I don't exist to be your sacrifice. So you're bringing all these people into this to try to silence us, and you're just causing a mess. It's a mess now. It's a mess now when it was just a property dispute. All because you can't stand that African-American mother, can you? You can't stand me. It's hatred. And you're accountable for it, not me. I will not be held accountable and suffer anymore from your insecurity. That's your responsibility. Big law, government, military, the secret elite hiring everybody and orchestrating everything and masterminding everybody. I'm talking straight to you. I'm intelligent enough too. I've been waiting for a formal meeting, but I guess you guys assume, you keep underestimating me, assume that I can do it. I totally can. You don't have to send member, gang members, or get innocent families involved. And now that me and my son are, are exploiting everyone involved with our demise, now families are getting mad at us. Now everybody's saying we're snitches, but who introduced them into this case? You did. Accountability. A plus is a must. This case is happening. See you guys there.